Uh, we're talking to Jeff Plate, who is one of the original members of the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and fellow New Yorker. How are you, Jeff? I'm doing great. Thanks. Now, you grew up in upstate New York, right? Uh, Elmira, Horseheads. Actually, I'm in, I'm in Horseheads. I'm about, what am I, three hours west of you right now. So, How cool is that? Absolutely. Now, uh, I, I saw here, just looking through your bio here, that you had a pretty mean fastball as a baseball player, and you turned into a rock and roll drummer. How did that happen? Well, I mean, I was, I was a pretty athletic country boy. Had a country boy fastball when I was a kid. I mean, you know, we're talking Little League, 12, 13 years old, but... You know, when you're that young, you always have these these dreams and aspirations of doing something like that. But I had a uh, unfortunate hip. Uh, my hip came apart when I was 13, and just about that time, I saw Kiss on the Midnight Special, and I I said right then and there, well, baseball's out of the picture. I'm going to do that. <laughs> so here I am, all these years later. Either way, either being a baseball player or a rock and roll drummer is pretty cool. So. It's all worked out. Yeah. Now, that is a massive drum kit that I see you behind. You got lights going on at the Trans-Siberian Orchestra show. There's explosions. There's fire. But everybody's counting on you to keep the beat. How do you stay focused? I really take it to heart. I take a lot of pride in what I do, and, and, I, and I take it very seriously. So, obviously, throughout the years, I played in a number of different ensembles, but TSO is obviously like no other. You've got close to 20 people on stage that are relying on you to to hold the whole thing together and and yeah focus and preparation and you know all of the above is a part of it but i just love what i do you know uh seeing the show in person there's i mean you're out in the uh the crowd you can feel the heat from the pyro and it's just your eyes are going everywhere and it's just <laughs> a, a, an amazing thing how has this changed over the years from when you guys first put the band together to what you got planned for 2020 well, we first started touring in 1999, and, and at that point, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra had already been, we'd already been an entity for, you know, three or four years. The, uh, the first two CDs, Christmas Eve and Other Stories, and The Christmas Attic were selling really well. Uh, Christmas Eve, Sarajevo 1224 was, was a huge hit, you know, so we knew, we knew we had something musically, but, you know, how is this going to translate to the stage? And... Our first tour was only seven shows, and this was really just a trial to see if we were going to be able to pull this off. And, you know, that year it was a box truck with, I think, a couple dozen lights and a fog machine or a dry ice machine or something. And, <laughs> you know, all these years later, it's, it's, it's grown into 20 tractor trailers and in an arena full of production from front to back. And I've been very fortunate to sit in the middle of all of it and see it grow in front of me, above me, all around me. It's, it's just been amazing. We're talking to Jeff Plate, who is the drummer for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. And, man, you guys just build uh, from year to year. Every, you know, you got a new show this year. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different uh, from the last year, thanks to good old COVID. But can, what can you tell, you, uh, tell us about what TSO has planned for this year? Well, obviously, all touring has been put on hold for, you know, who knows how long. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. But, you know, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra is going to do a live stream on December 18th. It is a Friday night, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Um, tickets are available right now. They're on sale now. You can go to tsolivestream.com or you can go to trans-siberian.com. Tickets are $30. Uh, we are performing Christmas Eve and other stories from beginning to end. There will be some extra stuff, I believe, before the, before the actual performance, some interviews and some things like that. And uh, There's also some merch packages available on these sites, but... If you, if for whatever reason you can't see the initial viewing on the 18th, it will be available for 48 hours after that. So you can, you can catch us then or, or watch the show one more time if you'd like. You know, TSO has always been a big part of everybody's holiday uh, tradition around here in the Capital Region. I see that uh, people can also give this as a gift to people, too, which is a very cool idea. We realize TSO is a tradition for so many people, and it just makes sense for us to do something but I think this is also going to be a great way to, like you mentioned, give this as a gift to somebody. Um, we're coming right to your living room. So if you've never been able to get, to get to one of our shows or you're really not sure what TSO is, this is a great way to, to sit down and watch, watch the show, watch the band. I am sure, I'm sure there's going to be a number of songs 
that you will recognize whether you knew it was us or not. You know, we are, we've been around now for 25 years. We are all over radio and media, you know, every holiday season. So it's going to be an interesting way to, uh, to introduce us to a whole new fan base. And it's uh, going to be dazzling to the eyes, I'll tell you that right now. It's the TSO coming up on uh, Friday, December 18th on the live stream. You know, uh, we're talking to Jeff Plate, who is the uh, drummer, original drummer of TSO. You guys, over the years, I just want to say thank you because each year, you know, when you've rolled through town, you've helped out our Christmas Wish program and so many other charities. Um, Just a staggering amount that the band has donated uh, over the years. I can't thank you enough for that. You bet. Thought I saw it was like over sixteen million dollars. Yes, yes, this was this was something Paul O'Neill uh, insisted on from the very first ticket we ever sold back in nineteen ninety nine. You know, one one dollar went to a local charity and to benefit their own local communities, and I think that's a great idea. Well, I appreciate uh, all you've done in the past, and uh, you know we are looking forward to seeing the TSO one way or another here in 2020, and hopefully have you back in town in 2021. The live stream is coming up on Friday, December 18th. We've got all the info and links and everything on the blog today at 995theriver.com. Jeff Plate from the TSO, thank you so much for your time. I sure appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Randy. All right, we'll Bye. watch the show. Take care.